Hey, it's Joe, and this is my next project. Welcome to the scrapyard. Sit back, relax as we wind our way calmly through the scrapyard. And what's that? Look at there, Carver. There's your mid-engine chance. Automatic transaxle, flat six. You can bolt a small block Chevrolet up to that. I've seen it done. Just scrap everywhere. I like going to the scrapyard. And I go a couple of times a month, a week. One of the monsters, the aluminum, lots of aluminum. Some of it good flat sheets, some of it not so flat. Check this out, unfilled 16 ounce cans. There's a can plant in town and they fill these things and uh, peace tea. Never been used. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice. And you can't save them all. So back it goes. But sometimes I do come through here and I get pieces of aluminum, uh, flat sheets for brackets. They have pretty good selection. nice all for sale by the pound you got to watch sometimes it's scratched up so you keep an eye on that they do a lot of water cutting around here somewhere and they will water cut or laser cut that's where some of this stuff is with all the patterns on it there's a short tail 350 turbo for a Chevrolet it's a dual pattern it's for Olds Buick Pontiac or a Chevrolet Chevrolet's these three on the side over here the dowel pins are the same. Need a spit sink? Are you a tobacco dipper? You may need one of these in your console or your truck. Chevrolet van upside down. Look at that suspension. In the old days, that's a suspension you could use to put under your 50 model Chevrolet pickup or something. Look at the idler arm going hanging straight down and the steering box going straight down instead of side to side. All that stuff unbolts except for the shock mount. 5 on 5 bolt pattern. Pretty good little setup, but nowadays they just use the Crown Vic stuff. It's uh, all aluminum. I like the Crown Vic. But the pistons, those are about 18 inches tall, 10, 11 inches across. Got plenty of them. I don't know what they came out of, but they sure had a lot of them. sign letters, letters from uh, all over. They didn't have any that I could use. I do go back every now and then. They have these rolls of aluminum, but a lot of times it's too thin. But they do have a lot of it if you ever need them. More letters, nice letters. If you see one with your initials, holler at me. All that stuff's gone. It was gone months ago. Wheels. Need to match one of your mismatched wheels. Here's where you'd get it. But too bad they don't sell wheels. A lot of these places are concerned about liability. You know, you can't blame them these days. Oh, cool. Here's one of the monsters. I need to make a whole video about these things. Their whole job is to make little pieces out of big pieces and they just sit there and chew stuff up and eat all day long. And they're, this one's just chewing on aluminum, but they get that big steel, the I-beams, the pipes, and they're clipping it in half. It's just great. Hey, an old charger. Look at this, that's like a 40 Ford rear end or something. If you're working by this machine, best tuck your shirt tail in. If it grabs you, you don't want to be run through all those gears. 
hundreds of tanks, storage tanks, chemical tanks, gasoline tanks like under the 7-Elevens and the little store, little uh, convenience stores, all riveted together, those old ones were. Machines, and tubing and pipe of all description. These are uh, these videos. I've taken these videos over months and months, several trips. If I see something interesting, I'll, I'll take some take some video of it. Color coordinated pipe. Got my finger in it. Do over. Let's do it right this time. You get your finger in there. You look up here when they flame cut or water cut all the little pieces out of these sheets. The sheets are left over, and all that you can see there is just piles of uh, the leftover sheets where they did the water cut and got the pieces they wanted out of it. Here's another monster just clipping stuff. I want to get a picture of him eating some big stuff. Come on, buddy. Bite it. There you go. Come on. There you go. That's like spaghetti. Nothing. To... We're going we're gonna to have to get these together. That's just too much fun. Look at the stuff in the background that they've water cut. There's lots of water cut going on, I'm sure. I don't know if you ever use water cut, but it's really nice. If I had the right beverage, I could watch that thing just go on. Oh, that's some kind of cool little linear screw actuator or something. I think part of the fun is just trying to identify what the hell it is you're looking at. <laughs> Sometimes they have these big machines, lathes and mills. And there's a big compressor there. I'm sure they wore completely out. I'm going to lay. Need a little lathe for your shop? Just a little shop lathe. Horizontal bandsaw, that's what that thing looks like. That's what that is. I don't know what that is. You don't want to trip and fall in front of it though, don't you? More oil well stuff. Sometimes these tables, these big mill tables, they will have them that are not bolted down to a machine. You can make a tabletop out of them, my partner. Uh, made a welding table out of one. It's really nice, but heavy. This was four or five hundred pounds. Look, that's a shop smith. There's your one thing. Do all, be all. Shop machine. Back in the aluminum. I see a lot of stuff and I want to buy it, but I don't always buy it. You just can't buy it all. Uh, back over in the aluminum and the stainless. You can usually find what you need. Different thicknesses. I've got some pretty thick stuff and I go get it water cut too. I make a pattern, draw up a pattern and they will water cut it very, very nice. Bit of it. Old pieces of aluminum. What's that thing? I think that's an intercooler.
brass, a big bucket of brass in there. If you got a participation trophy, well, it's not in here because it's probably plastic. That's real brass. Stainless. Good stuff. And they're going to show these little round things. Little brackets. That's pretty cool. If you, if you happen to need one that diameter. And these things, these are valve seats for something. I see them there all the time. Stainless wire, stainless tubing. Some exhaust. Or who knows what. There was, oh, there's a stainless ball up there. I think that's a float in a tank because they do have them pretty often. These are billet pieces of aluminum in the box. My dad used to machine them, get me to get some of those where he could machine them. Military air tank, I think that's out of an aircraft. Why am I videotaping that? What good is that? Here we go. Back out the yard. There's your butterfly steering wheel for your rat rod. Right there. Going price? I don't know. Probably two, three, four bucks. It looks like a pretty good pipe. You don't need your tubing if you don't need it very long. Yeah, this is good. How about some bearings for your... Rebuild your Rolex there. Those are about three feet across. No telling what they went to. Big chains, big sprockets. And they get these big bulldozers and stuff and they cut them all apart there. I don't know what this pipe is. It all had the same little kink in it, though. And this rack, they saved the rack to put the sheets on. You need a big sheet of uh, flat tabletop. It'd make a good tabletop. There's some headers. Just need to ding them out a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a lot. They have different things from week to week. It looks like a weight machine. I've gotten pulleys off those before to use for different things. Boat trailer over there. Some kind of tank. Oh, that's a it's an industrial grinder. It would be nice. Probably needs to be rebuilt, but you could restore it. You could restore it. Me? I'm going to pass. This was a conduit bender down in there. They had two of them the day before. Somebody must have come by and got it. I just like looking, for, looking at all this stuff. It's amazing what they what they've done how much these things would have cost if you would have bought them new especially in the oil field here where they jack the price up for every little piece it all eventually ends up here trash or treasure it's trash if you leave it it's treasure if you buy it and it's priced it's all priced like trash pretty much pretty cheap they don't like you climbing on the pile. It's like the teacher at recess. You come get you, <laughs> pull you down off the pile. <laughs> oh, look at the spoke wheel, a Model A wheel or something. 
have we been here before? We circling back to the butterfly wheel. Last chance. Going. Going. They just cut these plates up. They just keep cutting them smaller and smaller till they can haul them. And one guy stands there with a torch the size of, you know, as long as a golf club and just cuts stuff all day. Four wheel drive stuff. Look like military rear ends back there. Refrigerators, some of them stink pretty bad. No telling what they've had closed up in them. Hmm. What I've always wanted. Now my life's complete, pink candle bars. I know that was on my bucket list somewhere. I think that's part of the jet pack. You have to be able to notice that because it doesn't say jet pack on it when you walk by. <laughs> it doesn't say jet pack park. And this old truck was there. I don't know if they sold it or what happened to it. It's some kind of custom grill. Just almost not repairable. I'm checking the miles. Just <laughs> like that's going to make any difference. Everything gets mashed up in a cube before it goes. Huh? Aluminum intake. Small block Chevrolet. Here's a little springy thing that your kids can hurt themselves on. Oh, these are pretty cool. Not the carburetors. I thought they looked like an Indy car. They're really off of a motorcycle or something, I'm sure. Oh, a little premix, and you've got your boat motor there. Oh. Yeah, okay, nice casters. Pretty good little piece of side of 1A frame. That side looks good, casters okay. Square tubing, yeah, mm-hmm. It's not very good if you only get one of them. But, okay, so far so good. There we go, both sides of an A frame. Could have had a car rotisserie or an engine hoist. Just can't get it all. Can't save them all. Nice I beam C channel square aluminum tubing round tubing mostly pretty short pieces ah these are pretty cool look flying saucer another one these would be cool lights over a bench they just look like flying saucers let's go around there and take a look take a closer look. I've already got some lights that are going to go over my table, and I did not buy these, and I do regret it. I really like them. I like them better now in the video than I did when I was standing there. Look at that. Let's see if the top flips up. I bet he flips the top up. What do you bet? I bet my mustache he flips it up. Yep. So you put another light bulb in there. And look underneath. I bet he, I bet he raises it up. Pretty cool. I should have got a couple of those. And they're gone now. The pistons. They had a lot of. I guess they were parking lot lights or factory lights or something like that. beast. Go back where the cars are. Let's see what we got back here. Suburban. Uh, oh, what's that? Is that a Ferrari? No, it's MG. What? It's too late. I think it's gone. A homeless Celica. I couldn't read the collar. I don't know who it belonged to. 
so they had to put it down. The MG, I'm afraid it did not get adopted also. Here's more of the monsters. They just love eating this stuff. I guess you get the choice. That big round thing's an electromagnet, in case you didn't know. And they've got a button. They can stick it down on there, hit the button. It will lift a car off a trailer. And then, of course, they got the pincher thing on there. That's fun, too. And there's one way back in the background there. Ah, this was, I don't know what this was. Maybe it was a piece of an assembly line or a, some kind of line. It looked like a back, backbone out of an alien or something. It was all joined together and swiveled. Every single joint of that swiveled. Look at this. Yeah, if you know, leave a comment. And if you want it, well, too bad, it's gone. But it was fun to play with anyway. And didn't cut my finger, which is a plus. I like looking at these engines. A lot of the newer engines, I'm not even sure what they are anymore. It's about past my time. The transmissions. I did recognize this one. That's an old flathead, but... I don't know what kind of flathead, whether it's a Ford or International or what. You peek inside a little front wheel drive transmission, and that's how they run with the chain. Yeah. Huh. Need a blower like a hot rod have on it? That's its natural habitat, a GMC engine. There's another one, it's little brother. Same thing. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch those things, they'll sneak up on you. This one's eating tires. Watch him. He's He'll pick up a tire and wheel and he can bite it and break the tire off of it and then pick the rubber out of the pile and put it over in this pile. I guess he's saving it to eat that later. Take it home to the family. sniffing of it. Yeah. I guess those guys do that stuff all day long. They just get good at it. We're going to watch it for a little bit. I wonder how good this guy is at running the little crane machine. You put a dollar in and you get the little stuffed toy. This guy's probably a pro. He's got a whole house full of stuffed animals, I'll bet. Smelling stuff, I think. Scrap salad. Yeah, see, he's not going to eat the salad either. He's just moving it off his plate. <laughs> Well, I 
could watch this for a long time. But got to move along. What else? We're getting to the end of the end of the tour here. I hope you've enjoyed your visit. Wait, back the train up. What's that? I'll take that. A beer keg. What's a beer keg weigh? Get your bets in. Get them in now. You don't see this, those style very much. 29 pounds wins. Who won? Off to the next project. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did, tell your friends and subscribe. It's important.